is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. So we're underway here, round number one. Such a distinct advantage as to who the faster guy is, Teddy, who's got the speed. How does the opponent have to deal with it? Well, it's not just the hand speed, it's the foot speed. And as far as that goes, I think the opponent needs to cut the ring down a little bit. You know, be like a linebacker in football. Don't follow him around, but just move parallel, rink that ring. Good block by Mike Tyson. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Fires off that hook. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Halfway through round number one. Scores big with the hook to the hand. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Up top with the right hand. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Work the body. Keep it up. That uppercut absolutely rocked up. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds. A round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Silk bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Good block there by Silk. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. There's that overhand right. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Sil. Combo, combo. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Get out there. And he's holding. Tyson's defense is paying off now. Halfway through round number two. He missed with that headshot. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Teddy, a Mike Tyson left hook. Where's it come from? Well, it comes from everywhere. I mean, he wants to make sure that he annihilates you. So he puts everything into it. Shoulder snap, body, back, everything. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. 
you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he was doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. All right. Listen, you need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has been? Oh, he shook him up with that right hand. Good work by Iron. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunch. Wow. In one instance, just done. Fight over.